Hello everyone, welcome to Terra Special. In this video tutorial, I'll be showing you how to do slope analysis in QJS. So you can see on this map canvas, this is nothing but the digital elevation data sets which I have downloaded from the Earth Explorer USGS and it is being generated using the SRTM sensor. If you want to download this data, I have made a video on it and I have, I have also shown you how to create an account in Earth Explorer. You can refer the video. I will be giving it on the description as well as I will be putting in the cards. Just check it out. Now we just move on to the slope analysis. So after adding the uh, DEM data, go to the option raster and you can find the option analysis and come down. You can find the option slope. So the input layer, we have to add the elevation data sets. So you can see here, this is my elevation data sets as I showed you previously. If you don't have the data sets added, you can select this uh, option and you can directly browse and add and open this file. So now we just move on to the next option where you can see the ratio of vertical units to be horizontal. So here I am going to leave it as one because, because if the X, Y units and Z units are in the same units of measurement, the Z factor is one. Otherwise, for example, if your x, y units and z units are in different units of measure, the z factor must be set to appropriate factor. Otherwise, it will be create some incorrectness in the analysis. So, I am just setting it to 1 because the x, y and z units are the same units. So, I am going to set the z factor as 1. So I'll be also giving the uh, link in the below description. You can just check it up. I have referred few websites. You can check it about the Z factor. So now we just uh, move on. Now come down. Here you can save your file. Just click this uh, option. You can see here save to temporary file. If you want, you can save to a temporary file. Otherwise, you can save it to a location. So I'm going to give it, give a name, slope, and going to save it. Now let me click run. So the result has been come out. You can see here, only this part of the, you can see the dark pixel, it is having a slope of zero degree and rest of them is having a slope of uh, 89 degrees and greater than that. So let me change the symbology. Let us fix it by clicking, by clicking on it and go to the option properties. Here you can see the option symbology. Select single band pseudo color. And you can see the color ramp over here. I am going to just leave this color ramp as it is. If you want, you can change the color ramps. And here I am going to use the quantile. And I am going to have a 10 classes. You can see here I am I have selected 10 classes. Uh, now let me make this uh, interpolation to discrete. And let us apply it. Q OK. You can see here. The majority of the region is having a slope a degree of 89 and greater. Only a few spots where you can see the slope uh, degrees in zero so likewise you can uh, you can perform the slope analysis in QJS so if you have any doubts in this please do ask in the comment section I'll be answering to your questions please subscribe the channel goodbye everyone